guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have a very random little collective haul. So as you guys may know or may not know, I own a boutique called Simply Fashion and basically all I do is shop online for that boutique. So I kid you not, I haven't shopped for myself in months, literally months. Well, at least clothes wise anyways. So the other day I went to the mall with my cuñada and then I've been shopping here and there for just like random bits and pieces. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I'm going to be sharing with you guys all the little things that I've been buying lately. Like I said, there's not a lot of clothes in there, but there is a lot of red and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into this video. So I guess I'm just going to go with whatever just comes out first. So the first thing I have up here is a little hat. So I've been wanting a straw hat for literally all my life, like since I was born. I could never find like one that was small enough or one that wasn't too big or it wasn't too floppy. You know what I mean? And then some have like un, like un moño que está muy exagerado or the band is just weird. Whatever. So the point is, I just felt like this one was perfect for my OOTDs or for like my filming. Um, not my filming, but my, my photo shoots that I do downstairs. I feel like this would be such a cute little thing to add on. And yeah, I think it's super cute. Cute. I went with the brown with the black um strap what is this called strap strike <laughs> get it the little black band right here I feel like because my hair is black it'll complement with any outfit and the brown just matches anything you know what I mean I don't know that's my thought process I don't remember exactly how much it was I think it was like 12 or 13 dollars I don't know but yeah if I find something like this for my boutique girls you best believe I'm gonna try and pick it up but yeah so this is the first like little random thing that I have the next thing that I have oh yes the next thing that I have is this elf matte magic mist and set I actually found this at Ross me and Yadira went shopping for no reason like you know when you're like bored and you don't have nothing else to do so you're like let's just go shopping and I came upon this it was only three dollars and I freaking love elf so I was like what the heck and this you guys has been working super super good so far I like it. One thing I will say about this is that the mist parece like a freaking shower, like te baña, but literally <laughs> it feels super good. And I have found that my makeup is staying on pretty neat. So yeah, I like it. I don't want this to be like a Ross haul because it's not, but <laughs> this, I also found it at Ross. This was $5.99 and it is just this like little nude set, like nail polish set. That's what the shades look like. And this shade is actually the shade that I have my nails right now. And since I do model my own clothing, I can't really have like super crazy like nail colors. Colors. So I thought that this was perfect. All of these are super neutral and super like mellow and can match pretty much anything that I have um, to model. So yeah, I definitely like this one. This one broke, but I mean, I really don't mind. It's like a plum purple. So maybe for the fall, I'll try to make it work. My nail was dirty this whole time. Okay, don't mind that. Anyways, so the next thing that I got were these glasses. These ones right here. So these are just round glasses. Mind you, I am not a sunglass person at all. See, I don't wear hats. I don't wear glasses. I'm really branching out this year, okay? No, I'm just and kidding. I really liked this shape. I normally, if I was to wear glasses, would gravitate towards like the little like aviators or like the big like oval-ish sunglasses not these like super round ones but these ones i saw them at forever and for some reason i just like really like them like i thought like i looked like super like not basic you know what i mean like these are like round i thought these were super cute and you guys the other day i went into sunglass sunglass hot hut hut huh. um the other day i went into sunglass hot oh my god sunglass hut we went there and i saw some ray-bans that looked exactly like this but i got these at forever for i want to say 9.99 and the ones obviously ray-bans were 120 which were not that bad but i feel like if i get a lot of use out of this then i might go ahead and invest into like a really nice pair of glasses a little bit more sturdy um but yeah i'll let you guys know but i really 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 love these glasses so yeah and these actually fit my face so i was really happy about that like i could move around in it and you know they were gonna stay put because this is a collective haul i've probably have worn half of this stuff or like used half of this stuff but i figured i'd show you guys anyway because like i said like i haven't really been doing clothing hauls or anything like that so i just i just thought i'd share it with you guys you know what i've been picking up lately but anyways i have worn these i actually have worn both of these shoes that i'm about to show you guys um but i'll just go ahead and insert a picture because you know the way my toes are set up so they are these little slides right here don't mind este dedito se me quebró 
Well, they didn't know the uña. I got these slides. Again, these were from Ross, which was like such a steal. Um, so they're just your basic black slides, and they have the guest logo right here. Like, I needed some black ones to go with like everything. Like when you go get your nails done, you go to breakfast, you go to brunch or whatever, and you want to like look cute but casual. These I thought were super, super, super cute. I do remember these were only fourteen ninety nine. So yeah, these are super cute. And I'll insert a picture. I wore these with um like one of our jackets for my boutique and like a simple gray dress and these just made it like come together so these are super cute i know for a fact i know for a fact i'm going to be wearing those a lot and then the second pair that i also bought at ross these are actually from the brand aldo um but they look like this a lot of you guys were asking me where i got these but yeah they're from ross but they're from aldo technically so you might be able to find it on the website you could see like yellows will say they're, they're a little dirty i freaking love this style you guys at first when i saw it i wasn't so sure because it was like a little chunky and it was like a little much but i've noticed that the white shoe or like white sandals um are coming into trend so i really 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 liked these again if i find something similar like this for my boutique i'm definitely going to be picking it up but let me tell you guys i've been on the hunt for sandals for my boutique and it's so hard because it's so expensive for the shipping because when you buy shoes you have to buy it in packs with multiple sizes like an order of one pair of sandals you have to get 18 so could you imagine shipping 18 pairs of shoes that are like freaking this heavy so yeah it gets pre ah! it gets pretty expensive but you know what are you gonna do i've been trying so stay tuned for that i do have some coming so you know enter promo here which like i said i have not bought clothes in so long so it felt weird i felt like i was betraying myself in a way but whatever i know it's i know it's not like that so this right here i got it from rue 21 it was on sale as you guys could tell it was on sale for five dollars but surprisingly they had like an additional i don't even know how much 30 percent off i don't know but this ended up coming out to like three dollars and 25 cents something like that and it is just this like um high neck crew neck i don't know what it's called um long sleeve dress and I thought this was perfect for spring, you know, like in the afternoon, like ya casi la noche, it starts getting a little bit colder. So you could do with this, you know what I mean? And it is super, super nice. And those sandals are about to go perfect with this. So something like this, super casual, you know what I mean? Throw on a, like a little black jacket or like a jean jacket over this outfit and it'll be super, super cute. So yeah, for $3, bet. So the next thing that I got is another dress. It is this dress right here. Again, it's the same length as the yellow one I just showed you guys. This isn't fully like long sleeve. It's more like three quarters of a sleeve. But I really like that. I really liked how I had like these colors right here. Super springy, summery. That's the vibe I was getting. Um, and yeah, and it just has like this little strings like arribita. This was also $5, but like I said, it was also on sale. So I got it for, again, like $3. And this does have an actual hoodie. So I feel like this is super casual. I wanted to wear this one with sneakers. I ordered some Puma Callies. And it's been taking them forever to get here. I'll show them to you guys. If I'm editing y llegan, I'll go ahead and insert the clip right here. They're like the perfect, perfect sneaker to wear with dresses or skirts or rompers those sneakers are like the perfect sneaker you would think of to pair with actual like dresses and like skirts and stuff to make it look cute but anyways that's the shoe that i want to wear with this dress maybe even with that yellow one so, yeah. moving on i have three books that i have recently bought i've been super into reading lately well i mean i've always been but i've kind of just been kind of you know going crazy with the reading so the book that i'm currently reading as you can tell i'm almost basically done with it no mas me queda like this much to read and then I'll be done but this is called you are a you are a badass at making money by Jen Sincero so this is this book it's actually such a good book this is one of those interactive books writing down your goals or what you think and stuff like that so this is such a good book I definitely recommend it if you need some confidence or some boost in how to make money or just to believe that you can make money I would definitely recommend this book it's called the subtle art of not giving a pretty sure you guys have seen this book um I wanted to read this one first though this is more of a like a popular and more like a trending novel but i wanted to read this one first because i was more interested in like the money aspect of um this author so we'll see how this goes i've read a couple of books on you know self-worth not caring about opinions and stuff like that so i just figured i'd pick this one up um to kind of just see what the hype is about but so far i love her writing she's super funny so i'm excited to see about this book 
Okay, and then the last book, it's called The Power of Now, A New Earth, Awakening Your Life's Purpose. So that's what this book looks like. This book was actually recommended to me by a good friend of mine. He is a business owner himself. He is super, super wise, and I actually look up to him a lot. And so he recommended this book. He told me that it is, in short, it's basically helping you control your ego because ego is the root of a lot of problems in your life. And I feel like a lot of us don't really take notice in that. I know I don't, but I know that when I'm like frustrated or like my feelings are hurt, I know that it's not necessarily me as a person, but it's kind of attacking my ego. So this kind of helps you, you know, get rid of that and tackle your life, I guess, in a different mindset. So this was actually in one of Oprah's bestsellers, like her bestselling like list of novels. So I got this and I'm really excited to read this one. For sure, these are some new pickups that I've been loving and I definitely recommend you guys to get. I told you guys, this is so random. But anyway, the next thing that I bought it is this sleepy body lotion from Lush so this right here smells so so freaking good it smells just like lavender vanilla e just sweet it smells really really nice so the reason i got this lotion is because like i said i've been <laughs> opening my boutique i've been in business now for like a month a month and a half and i've been on my phone non-stop before i go to bed because i'm shopping i'm constantly checking emails i'm constantly checking inventory posting on social media marketing finding ambassadors just doing the whole thing and i find that literally right before bed is when i tend to want to do the most work and i end up going to bed i kid you not like 3, 4 in the morning, sometimes 5 in the morning. I remember there was one night that I stayed up till 7 in the morning just, just researching stuff like that I needed. So I figured I'd give this a go. I can't stop smelling it. It smells so good. Tried it like two or three times. I can't say that it's like, you know, knocked me out. But I will say that when I have tried this, I can't really remember what time I go to sleep. So I just kind of like fall asleep on my phone, which before I was able to check the time and be like, oh my God, yes, on a squat throw, like go to sleep, you know? No, but with this one, I just kind of am on my phone and I just kind of pass out. A part of me wants to think that this is kind of like a placebo. Like it just, you put it on and then you swear it helps you fall asleep. I don't know, but I'm still going to continue to use it because it smells amazing and like my, my pillow smells like this now and you know. But yeah. <sighs> okay, last one. I don't even know why I put this in there, but I just thought I'd mention it. I bought a composition notebook. I actually bought this at Dollar Tree. Honestly, don't even remember why we went to Dollar Tree, but I decided to pick this up to help me be more organized. So this composition notebook is going to be mainly for PR purposes. Now that my boutique is expanding and growing a little bit more, I'm able to send out PR and I'm still constantly looking for ambassadors and just people to help me, you know, um, expand my boutique, if you will. So I'm going to write down the people that I'm going to um, ask to see if they want PR, ask if they want to be an ambassador, ask if they want to make a YouTube video for me, like a haul and things like that, a page per person, kind of like their following, their audience, age range, things like that. Just so I could get more organized when it comes to that stuff because marketing is, ex is expensive, sending PR packages can add up, and I just want to make sure that I'm picking the best people to help represent me, my boutique, and I will definitely put effort. So I just want this to help me make sense, okay? Okay. So the last thing that I have is a skincare product. So this right here is a Pixie Glow glycolic boost this is a face mask it's supposed to bring in it has glycolic acid in it witch hazel and this <laughs> funny enough this was sent to me in a pr package from pixie um but i liked it so much that i went and i bought a couple more so this is the last one that i have to probably tell that i have a couple breakouts going on but it's not as bad as it was like you know way back when i completely stopped using all of the skincare that i had been using except for two products like drugstore products and that is the pixie glow tonic and that is this face mask right here when I tried this at night like I just put it on fell asleep and woke up and I was actually really scared because I thought that it was gonna irritate my skin because I had been going through such like a crazy freaking breakout but honestly it made all of my breakouts kind of like go down the redness kind of went down as well and I saw some scarring kind of like fade a little bit so it made me really happy I love sheet mask and of course I had to stay with one and this one actually has been working with me great so I just thought I'd share that with you guys and the last random thing that I have bought is actually a mirror I don't if you guys can see in the back but back here i have a like little floating desk and on top of that i have some like little artwork i'm actually going to take that artwork off and i'm going to put like that mirror that i have i'll show it to you guys here in a second but i kind of want to make that like a floating like vanity and i kind of want my room to feel a little bit bigger just because it's getting a little crowded with all of the inventory and stuff that i have in here so yeah, so I bought that mirror. I got it at Ross and I got it for $30. That is it for this haul, you guys. I know it was super random and all over the place, but I mean, you know, that's my life now. That's literally 
I just pick up random things here and there if I'm ever out and about. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I have picked up lately. So if you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to let me know by giving the video a big thumbs up. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do this ever so often because, you know, I don't shop like I used to. My priorities have changed just a little bit. But again, if you guys like this video, let me know. And also, do not forget to subscribe. It would mean the world to me if you did join my little family. We are happily growing, you guys. 61K. Oh my god, I feel like I haven't even talked about that. It's just crazy how much support you guys show me, even with my inconsistent self. Sure, just check out the description box. Everything will be in there, as well as my boutique, my social media, my boutique social media, Jill's Instagram account, my vecino's Instagram account. Okay, everybody's Instagram account. No, just kidding. Okay, so yeah, I think with all that being said, I will see you guys in my next video. Until next time.